Yeah, so y'all are here with the Fancy Tea Talk Show with your host, Terrence. And Crystal. And yes, we are here with the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity today at San Grizz at the happy hour today. So y'all going to stay tuned and listen to our guys and let them tell you what's going on with their fraternity this weekend. So what's your name? My name is John Purnell. Okay, Mr. Purnell. So you are the... I am the chapter president of one of the three host chapters within the area. So this convention is the 94th general convention of our fraternity and the celebration of the 111th year of our existence. So this year we're bringing it back to the roots, bringing it back to where our general headquarters is, which is right up the street on St. Paul Street. So we have the brothers and what my chapter decided to do was to have a host welcoming happy hour just to welcome our brothers and anyone who wants to come and uh, celebrate with us as we kick off this national convention. Well, that's awesome. So what else goes on in this weekend other than this happy hour? <laughs> so I'm glad you asked. So, <laughs> so in addition to all the business sessions and the meetings of the fraternity that we have going on, we have a lot of social events. So, of course, tonight we have the happy hour. Tomorrow we have an alumni social event that uh, kicks off at 7 p.m. It is a three-part event. It is a uh, jazz show, a comedy show, and an after party hosted by DJ Schemes out of D.C. And then uh, on Saturday night we have uh, our chapters hosting a party, an after party at Select Lounge. So uh, you all feel yeah. free to come through. We're Absolutely. See the ones in Baltimore. Come party with us. Come party with the Alphas. We're going to let you know. Well, do y'all know how to party? Y'all party? We can show you party. We know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> y'all party. So <laughs> one more thing. So tell me, what is the best thing of being a part of the Alpha Phi Alpha? Well, in addition to all of the parties and all of the things we get to do, uh, I really love being able to make an impact on the community. Uh, I'm actually originally from Mississippi. I was able to come here in Baltimore and then one of the things the fraternity allowed me to do was uh, be able to connect with a brotherhood here. Uh, so you took some kid from Mississippi who was a part of a large brotherhood, you brought him into the fold here, and we we've been able to make a lot of impact into the communities. We also have a foundation, we do a lot of scholarships into the community, uh, we hold SAT prep workshops, you name it, we do it. Take kids to football games, basketball. Your name. You name it. We do it. <laughs> We're in the community. We're that in the is so awesome. We're in the street. So I'm calling out every other fraternity. We know you're not as good as we are, but, <laughs> but. Come see us in these streets. Come, Come do what we're em. doing is in these streets. Definitely. So it was awesome meeting you, and this is and enjoy it and party, party, party. Looking forward to seeing you cover this uh, in its entirety, right? Yes. Have a good one. You as well. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Fancy Tea Talk Show, and we're here with Chico. Yes, totally. And we're here at Sangria. Uh, mm -hmm. For the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, mm -hmm. and tell us about your fraternity. Ah, uh, we were the first. First to first, never the last to last. Old ice cold brothers with style in class. That's pretty much how. That's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. We're here for our convention. We wanted to provide a uh, social event for all the bros that's out of town. We got bros from all across the country that's in town for our convention. So here it is, and we got you beautiful ladies here to assist. So we appreciate the Fancy Tea Podcast coming out. You guys do a great job. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Anything else? So tell us, what does brotherhood mean to you? Man, what does brotherhood mean to me? Brotherhood, I would say one word, trust. If you're my brother, I should be able to trust you. You understand me? I should be able to leave money around, don't have no problem. My lady around, don't have no problem. You know what I mean? That's, that, that's, that's the true definition of brotherhood to me. Someone that's going to have my back regardless. I, I should only have to call you once if you're a true brother of mine. Like these dudes that's getting out the truck, they pretty good brothers. They all right. They all right. They all right. They all right. So tell us about pledging. What was your pledge experience oh, oh, like? Um, <laughs> uh, I didn't really do nothing. I just pretty much just signed some paperwork and, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, I just signed some paperwork and then and that was pretty much it. Yeah. Um, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated is a uh, non-hazing fraternity, so we don't That's believe it. in anything like that. Like, people taking, well, we don't know anything about that. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Next damn question. All righty. <laughs> so how often do you guys get together? Uh, we usually meet my... Um, my chapter usually meets the every third Saturday of the month. I'm an alumni chapter. But we also, you know, meet socially. We also like to, we oversee um, some of the graduate, uh, some of the undergrad chapters as well. So we make sure that they're doing the right things that's on the yard, helping them out with their community service uh, events. So, I mean, we, we're together a lot. Okay. We're together a lot. Is Alpha Phi Alpha uh, 
what do you guys do in the community? Do you guys have a mentoring program? Let us know about that. We definitely have a mentor program. Um, we basically try to get out and teach the uh, the young youth that's out there. Uh, you know, it's a lot of guys, especially in Baltimore. You know, I mean, it's a lot of single moms out here that needs help with um, just basic things, just teaching young men how to tie a tie. You know what right, I mean? And right. that's what and that's what we're here for. Okay. Okay. Yep. And how can we get in contact with the lovely men of Alpha Phi Alpha as far as mentoring? As far as, well, um, uh, except where, where do we have a, um, how can they get in touch with uh, with us as far as like the Roll Tile Lambda? Yeah. Okay, SAT prep, SAT prep show coming up in a couple of weeks. There it is. And Road there you have it. Org. There it is. There it is. Don't call me. Go to roadtilander.org. <laughs> Got it? Got it. 06 to the good breath. So, hey, guys, we are still rolling at the Alpha Phi Alpha Happy Hour. And your name? Marcus. Marcus Richardson. Marcus Richardson. And yours? And I'm Kareem Ali. Kareem Ali. So, okay, guys, what is the most exciting part about this convention? Um, it's just a great time. Like it's in my hometown. I'm from Baltimore. Hey, what's up? You know, <laughs> but um, it's just a great time. You know, it's a great time for brothers to come together, socialize, get done professional work, and uh, you know, just come together and have a good time with each other. But you know, do the work of Alpha first, but also have fun socially as well. You know. Absolutely. What about you? Uh, just to piggyback off, he said, just, you know, pretty much all the brothers um, from everywhere just coming uh, to one location. Um, I'm not from Baltimore, but I went to school in Baltimore. I went to Morgan State, so okay. I'm familiar with the area. So, I mean, I, I always love coming back. Um, I'm a Neo, so I just crossed. So, I mean, this is this is all new to me. <laughs> this is all new to me, so, you know, I'm taking it all in. It's, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. Um, just, I'm just inter interacting with a lot of people, getting to know a lot of people. So, it's, it's good. Okay. So what made you join the Alpha Phi Alpha? Um, to be honest, I, I, I would say the platform that it gave me, it, it allowed me to reach so many different people. When I was in high school and even my early years in college, I was always involved in community service, tried to always get involved in uh, professional activities, student government, other other clubs on campus. But Alpha Phi Alpha, they kind of they kind of matched up with my um, my core qualities, you know, so it gave me an opportunity to reach out to so many more people and impact so many more people even though I was already doing a lot of the professional things, it allowed me to impact way more people than I was already impacting by myself. So. Awesome. That is awesome. So what interested you to join the Alpha Alpha? Um, the biggest thing, uh, just the brotherhood, uh, just being able to uh, call, a, like, not only just, you know, yeah, you have you have your family. I know that's one thing, but then just enable to call a whole organization to networking. Um, I just think it's a beautiful thing. Um, just being able to help the community out, um, help help the future. I mean, that's pretty much what, what we're about. We're trying to transcend. Okay. We're trying to take it to the next level as far as generations, um, and it's going to keep going. Um, like I said, we're not, we're not going nowhere. We're going to be here. We're going to continue to be in the community. We're going to continue to promote uh, excellence, black excellence, and that's what we're all about. We we're just trying to uh, we're just here, and that's what I, I that's what gravitated me towards Alpha. Okay. I've been a, I've been interested for a while, so I mean I'm just just grateful to be here, and just grateful that we all here, and we we're going to keep pushing. So wait a minute, before you go, somebody had to tell me, what is the, the alpha sign? I know everybody have different signs. I mean, you got to do it. Hey. Boom! You got it! Alpha by Alpha! Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs>Welcome. We are here with the Fancy Tea Talk Show at Sangria Lounge with the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha, and we're here with Lewis. Lewis. So, Lewis, what made you want to pledge Alpha Phi Alpha? Um, for me, it was the brotherhood that really drew me out. Um, I'm only child, so you know, being in college, I felt like I saw an example on campus, and that's something I wanted to be a part of. Okay. And do you also uh, volunteer in the community? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like I like we do a lot with like, you know, like go to high school, go to college, which is like basically like a program where we try to make sure that kids have a direction to get to college and we kinda of provide that good example and make sure the transition goes well. Okay. And are you from here? Are you from Baltimore? No, I was born in, actually I was born in New Jersey. Um, but I live in Prince George's County. Okay, I'm so Morgan, so that's why I'm here. Okay, okay. And what does brotherhood mean to you? Brotherhood just means, you know, having somebody that, you know, may not be blood related to you. You, but that you know will always be there for you if you need something in the time of need. Okay, and what do you like most about these conventions? 
Um, just meeting different people, you know, like you, you see brothers from all over, you know, see, you see brothers that may be in the area but you don't see often. Um, so just kind of networking and seeing a lot of bros. Okay. Well, thank you. Once again, we're here at Sangria Lounge and we hope you enjoy. There you go. You got to see the fancy tea from the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity today from Therese. And Crystal. And you never know when we're going to pop up near you. Mwah.